hey y'all welcome back to my channel look what am i talking about does not happen often but it happened today so i was like you know what let's have a chat with everyone and let them know like how to handle this because it gets very awkward i do not like doing this but i will give you a little story time and then we're gonna talk about how we can minimize the awkwardness as much as possible so before we get started make sure you like the video okay subscribe because you like this tea like come on now but anyways um let me tell y'all what happened so i am the forward of course Listen, I feel like when I am the forward flight attendant, when I'm working in first class and all that stuff, like, I, I'm carrying the plane, okay? I need to look my best. I'm the first person that people see when they get on the plane. So it's like, I need to be all smiles, high energy, good vibe, welcoming. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Good morning, good morning. Like, I'm always upbeat, good energy. I mean, whether I'm the forward or the aft, I always have a good energy. But, like, there is more responsibility when you're up front. Because it's like, you're carrying the show. Like, that's how I feel. But it, it's equal between both. Like, don't get it twisted. Do your job on both ends. Anyways, so I am doing the safety check we have closed the main cabin door, made the announcements, seat belts, table trays up, um, seats forward, all that good stuff. I'm walking by, I'm checking everyone for the seat belts, seat belts, seat belts. I always like do this when I'm walking by. I'm like seat belts, seat belts, seat belts, seat belts, seat belts. Um, and I get to this one gentleman and I, I don't see a seat belt, okay? I don't know if he's sitting on it, you know, swallowed it up. I don't know. But the seatbelt is nowhere to be found. <clears throat> so I'm looking at him. I'm like, seatbelt? And he was like, getting, grabbing the seatbelt. And um, it could not close, okay? Because the gentleman was, you know, on the Santa Claus side, heavy. And, um... You know, he's like looking like, oh, I can't get it. So I was like, okay, um, I'll be right back. So I go and I grab the seatbelt extension and then I hand it to him. And then he, you know, connects it together and then boom, has a seatbelt together. <sighs> but listen, I give that story time because it's like, it's always awkward when you have to like, basically recommend the seatbelt extension to someone i personally i don't like to make anyone feel uncomfortable especially not on the plane and like where i'm asking them questions and it's drawing a lot of attention everyone's looking at them we're already in a secluded space so um it's always awkward when you have to like suggest a seatbelt extension to someone and it's like girl boy you knew you needed a seatbelt extension we could have got this out the way once you came on the plane like i don't i mean i'm not gonna say that the person is embarrassed because i'm not gonna put emotions into their perspective of how everything went but i just feel awkward when i'm like okay well let me get you a seatbelt extension because you need it like i don't say because you need it i just like go grab it and then i give it to them um but yeah, it's always awkward, but we must, we must, it doesn't matter how awkward it can get, we have to make sure that everyone has their seatbelt on, um, of course, for safety reasons, and you need to do it because we may have, there's another word to call them, but I'm just going to say secret shoppers that are watching to see if you are making sure everyone has their seatbelt on, and what if the person who is the secret shopper is the person who did not have their seatbelt on and you know cannot even the seatbelt doesn't fit around them 
So yeah, you can get in trouble for that. So that's why it's very imperative that you do check to make sure everyone has their seatbelt on. If they're asleep, I've woken people up like, hey, seatbelt, like, I don't care. This is my job and your safety and I need to ensure it. So never feel like, no, you are inconveniencing someone because you're inconveniencing their sleep and next thing you know, you out of a job, so no. We don't operate like that. Wake them up, put your seatbelt on, or we're not going nowhere. But of course, nicely, of course, you know, you just seatbelt, seatbelt, and then they put it on. Um, I've never had to, like, it's just not me to be yelling at anyone or speaking negative or just like, you need to put your seatbelt on. I'm not like that. I've seen other flight attendants who are like that very aggressive with their tone but i'm like it that's not necessary talk to people the way you want to be talked to anyways with that being said oh secret shoppers um i don't know if i explained that well but there will be people on the plane sometimes not all the time who do not announce themselves it is voluntary whether they want to announce themselves or not but it will basically be people who work for the company um who are just making sure you're doing your job and making sure you're following the guidelines and things like that and they have their little checklist and they submit it like okay she did everything she's supposed to do or hey she missed a couple of steps um somebody needs to come speak to her <laughs> um so yeah personally that has not happened to me before but i do know other people where that's happened um there are people that said that they introduced themselves so you know they had a little heads up like be on your best behavior play your role follow the rules and there were others who did not get notified and until they got called into the office like you did x y and z on this day and we had a secret shopper so don't try to lie <laughs> so it's just like anything can happen so i always recommend doing your job and definitely check for the seat belts of course so let's get into how to minimize you know that awkwardness between you and a passenger who may need a seat belt extension so one thing that i like to do is when i'm the forward flight attendant and i'm greeting people i always have two seatbelt extensions sitting on the counter right next to me um so that is visible because you know the passenger which someone calls santa claus so santa claus he may know that he needs a seatbelt extension but sometimes he forget because you know he got the bags he trying to figure out like what seat he's at, the boarding pass, all that stuff. So sometimes it just slips someone's mind. However, once they see me and it's like, I'm saying, welcome aboard. Then they glance over to the counter and they see the seatbelt extension. And then Santa's like, oh, can you guys see one of those? I need one. Boom. So that's one way to minimize it is just have it visible. Um, if you're not that close to the actual counter, so hold it. Like if I was the aft, I would be holding one. So um, there have been times when, you know, I have a Santa Claus on board who was, you know, putting his stuff up and then he looks over, he sees me holding onto it and he's like, oh my God, I need one of those. And I'm like, here you go. And it's not awkward because you don't want everybody else on the plane in your business like, oh, you need a seatbelt extension? Mm. Like, you know, I just don't like to cause any awkward situations so i try to minimize that by holding on to the actual seatbelt extension um another thing i like to do so when i am now this is if i know someone needs it and they haven't asked me for it then i will while i'm doing my safety check i will actually hold on to one you know have one in my hand that's visible for everyone to see and then you know santa can ask me as i'm you know walking by like hey man I, I need one of those and you know it's less awkward right than me having to say oh do you need one <laughs> you know um another way is okay let's say i don't have it in my hand x y and z and i'm just walking by so one thing that i like to do is always like say seat belts seat belts seat belts fasten seat belts fasten like doing this motion because i do have passengers that don't speak english so it's like okay 
they they know what this means though like and I do it like here so well you can't see but like you know like that just doing the hand movements is enough for people to put it on they see you walking by they're gonna put it on I don't like to single people out like you need to put it on you need to put your seatbelt on I don't like doing that um now let's say I get up to Santa and he doesn't have his seatbelt on because it doesn't fit and I'm doing this he's just looking at me crazy like girl you know this don't fit so at that point you know I'm just like hi do we have our seatbelt on we notice how I said do we have our seatbelt on because I'm trying my best not to single him out and say do you have your seatbelt on that's number one and Number two, the eye contact. I'm looking at you. I said we, but I'm looking at you. This is a me and you conversation. Everybody else don't even matter. I'm talking to you without singling you out. So I'm like, do we have our seatbelt on? And at that point, Santa will be like, oh, no, it doesn't fit. Can I get a seatbelt extension? And I'm like, okay, cool. Then I go get one. So that's happened. That's like another way to like just not be so abrasive Let's say the person is just busy or not even paying attention to what you're saying are you walking down the aisle um of course always i always address like saying do we have our seatbelt on but if they're still not paying attention if they were i don't know reading a book didn't even look up when you walk by this is what i do i have my hand out like this like, do we have our seatbelt on? And this time, it's more obvious that I'm really speaking to Santa. Even though I said, do we have our seatbelt on? It's like, you're not looking at me, so now I gotta use my hand. Do we have our seatbelt on? And then Santa will be like, oh no, I'm sorry. Try to put it on, it don't fit. Okay, let me get you a seatbelt extension. I'll be right back. Um, And the reason why I say I do this, because this, Pointing like this is super derogatory. I don't, I don't recommend because one, we're already not, I'm already standing up and the person is sitting down. And then I'm like, do you have your seatbelt on? Do you have your seatbelt on? Like, it's just, it's just very like, that's too aggressive. So it's like, come on now. Do you have your seatbelt on? Do we have our seatbelt on? That sounds way more chill and welcoming and like less aggressive I feel like there's another word to use but i can't think of it drop it below in the comments if you feel like there's another word but like more conversational if you will than saying it like you don't have your seatbelt on you need to put your seatbelt on i've seen other flight attendants do that and then it turns into a back and forth and yeah it's just giving world star video and i don't i don't need none of that like i don't like any of that type of like back and forth so those are like all the ways that i typically will address you know if i have a little santa claus miss claus on board who you know needs a little bit of extra assistance without making it obvious to the whole flight that you need a seatbelt extension please drop in the comments if um that situation is awkward for you because it's awkward for me just because i don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable um it's not awkward to do my job it's just i don't want anyone to feel like i'm singling them out that's my only thing but let me know in the comments if that's also awkward for you. Let us know any tips that you have when it comes to giving the seatbelt extension and a, you know, smooth transition that's not too, you know, calling them out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it up if you liked the video and you found it helpful. And, oh my God, there was also one more thing that happened on that flight. The person in the exit row, like as he boarded, he was like, um, can I have a drink? Can I order a drink since I'm in the exit row? And I thought about it. I'm like, first of all, if you have to ask, you know the answer, no. But you really cannot have a drink if you're sitting in the exit row because if there's an emergency, 
we don't need you lit or drunk. We need you focused and ready to get us off the plane. So make sure if you're the aft flight attendant and you are passing out drinks, um, you're not giving it to the exit row and let them know. No drinking, because we need you focused. Um, and if they don't, if they really want to drink, then they have to move to a different seat or switch with someone or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, that was like all that was interesting that happened on my last flight. Hope you guys found this information helpful and I will see you in the next video.